Hey guys, so I think this is going to be my first talk through sort of tutorial, but um, I just wanted to show you what I've been doing recently for my um, just everyday work look. This is just what I wear to work um, every day and it's just quick and easy and I've done it a million times so I have it down pat. It's pretty simple, um, but it's a nice warm look for summer and it's like nudie. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. So, I already did my foundation, my concealer, and my eyebrows just to save time because you guys have already seen that. Um, and if you haven't seen it and if you're new here, I can link down below my last tutorial so you can see how I do all that stuff. For my eyes, um, I've been using my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush and Glow Trio in Sunset Junction, Junction. And I know that this was a limited edition palette from last summer so I, I know you can't use it now but the point of the it's not the point of the palette it's the point of the color I don't have many eyeshadows um, of, of wide variety and I really like that warm burnt orange color in the crease lately um, with a big wing so the closest color that I have is this bronzer and I don't even use this bronzer for my face because it is like too orange but it's perfect for the crease so that's what I've been using it for lately and I'm using this um, elf tapered stipple brush and I just like sloppily throw this in there guys and then just putting less pressure as I go upwards towards the brow to just like diffuse it out And that looks good to me. Just getting some warmth in that crease. And that is it for the top. And then I will take this e.l.f. contouring eye brush and I'll get that same color. And I'm gonna put it on the lower lash line. A generous amount and the next thing that I will do is take this dark brown it's called nutmeg it's by Maybelline it's very very old it's expert wear stylish smokes I don't know if you can even still get this I'm sure you can it's just like a regular eyeshadow but it's just a very dark brown and I'll just take a little bit of that on the same brush that I just used and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line as well then I'm gonna go back to that bronzer that I was using and I'm gonna put that there again Sorry for my ugly faces. I just have a like I have some wrinkles under my eyes, so I have to like to like straighten out the skin. <laughs> Sadness. Yeah, so I just put that there again to just like blend it out further. I really like this warm smoked out lower lash line. And that is it for the bottom right now. And what I will do next is um, liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna do a pretty large wing, I would say. Um, I don't know if I can do this on camera. I think I'm just gonna do it off camera. Because you guys have seen me do a wing, I think. I mean, I have a couple where I show the wing and um, if you want to request a eyeliner tutorial, definitely request one, but I'm just going to do this off camera for the sake of saving time and I'm sort of in a rush. <laughs> okay, I'm back with my winged liner um, and then the next thing that I will do is take my Rimmel Scandalize 
black coal waterproof eyeliner and I'm gonna put that in my tight line and my waterline I know you're not supposed to lift your eye like this but I always do it I'm sorry hopefully I don't get wrinkles okay and I took that eyeliner pretty much all the way in that's just how I like it um, so I'm just gonna take the oh I'm just gonna take this same palette and get my pinky in that highlighter and just put that in my inner corner and then I kind of like blend that out with my ring finger so it doesn't look like a dot um, and I don't like to highlight my underbrow um, I have to wear a hat for work so it's not like you can really see under there anyways um, but with this look since it's really like matte eyes yeah I just don't really like to highlight my underbrow that much plus I carved out my brows today so it's light under there anyways good enough for me next thing that I'm gonna do is mascara um, I always curl my lashes and I'm just gonna apply as much as possible Okay, so now that I have mascara on my top and bottom lashes, I will spray my face with my e.l.f. Mist and Set. And for my lips, I've been doing a nude lip, like a warm nude. So I use this Milani lip liner in the color. I know I've showed this on my channel probably a few times. It's called All Natural. And I just line my lips with that and I always overdraw my lips like the tiniest bit mostly on this section and for the lipstick I use the wet n wild mega last lipstick in the shade bear it all these lipsticks last a really long time um i've tested it out i've tested them out <laughs> a bunch of times at work and they will last me all night they are matte but they are creamy um they do transfer a lot so you will see it like when you're drinking your coffee you're gonna see it like on your straw um, and whatever and some in the middle will come off when you eat and stuff but for the most part this lipstick for not being a liquid lipstick it actually stays on a really long time and it's like super full coverage too so um, this is what I use for work just because it's a nude and if some of it comes off it doesn't look that bad um, and it's sort of close to my natural lip color it just makes it better so when it starts to wear away it looks better than some other color would look Okay guys, so that's it. That's just what I've been wearing to work um, since I've got back to work. Uh, it's easy. It seems like you took a really long time, but it really doesn't take that long, um, especially when you're just like throwing that color in the crease. It's not going to look bad as long as you have a good like blending brush and not too dark of a color. Um, and then just a nude lip. Um, with some wing liner. Wing liner always makes it look like you took a long time on your look but if you have it down pat because you've been doing it for a while um, it just takes no time at all but also if you don't like wing liner you definitely don't have to put it if you want to put lashes instead you can do that if you want no lashes and no liner it will still look good um, but yeah this is just what I've been wearing on a daily basis to go to work or whatever so um, that is it I'm not gonna get all pretty for an outro uh, just because I still have to do other things to get ready for work like this is real life right now um, but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk through a mini tutorial on my everyday go to work look and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching